Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Crystal here. So far well, you've got a trailer to look at, and um, this is the official Spongebob gameplay overview trailer for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. And yeah, so it was only a few weeks ago we got the announcement trailer that we were getting uh, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. I was kind of surprised when the trailer dropped. I wasn't expecting to get a sequel. But yeah, I mean, the first game was really good. I don't think it really reached, like... Because the hype was, like, really big at the time. And then it kind of felt like no one was really playing it. I mean, I enjoyed it because I'm a Nickelodeon, like, baby. Like, I just love Nickelodeon. But yeah, the last trailer was really good. I definitely felt like it made the case for a second game really well. Like, the graphics, the gameplay all looked amazing. We're getting a Squidward. We had the uh, the handsome Squidward reveal. I'm also getting Jimmy Neutron. And now we've got, like, an overview for SpongeBob as well. I guess most will be playing with SpongeBob. So yeah, it makes sense to get like an overview just for Spongebob. So everyone, well, without further ado, let's go straight into the trailer. Armed with fearsome karate capabilities, bubble blowing expertise, no, and his trusty commentary. hydrodynamic spatula with port and starboard attachments, Spongebob has all the tools you'll need to thrive in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Spongebob is an all-rounder type character with a straightforward moveset perfect for beginners, or even experienced players who just like to make the most out of simple tools. Yeah, I think most will play with Spongebob. Are great for launching and juggling opponents He's like the king of Nickelodeon right now. Aerials. Most noteworthy of his aerials are his up air, which has a wide arc and pops opponents upwards, and his forward air, which has a powerful spiking sweet spot. Once you're ready to end your combo, his side and up charged air attacks are great choices at high percents. The arenas do look a lot better this time around, I think. It's quickly worth mentioning that every character has three on the ground and three in the air. Spongebob has relatively short range and isn't the fastest character by any means, so he mostly has to rely on his neutral special, Bubble Blow, to take control of the stage and find an opening. I love that. His side special, Fishbowl Strike, can also be a solid approach option Fish thanks to surprise strike, speed you know. and an ability to absorb a small amount of damage before getting knocked out of the attack. Additionally, Fishbowl Strike can be used as a recovery tool to get a little bit closer to the stage before using his up special. This move does a good job of covering Spongebob's head. Patrick's just standing there like, hey. But keep in mind, you can only grab the ledge towards the end, so don't aim too high. Right. In the event that your aim is slightly off, maybe try spending some of your slime meter to cancel the move and air dodge to safety. Or better yet, if you're craving something a little more advanced, try canceling the move offensively into an air strong. Or even better, cool. better yet, cancel it into his down special, Chef Flip, and combo that into a finisher. If you land a hit with Chef Flip, you can cancel the move immediately nice. by jumping for those fancy looking combo extensions. And as a nice bonus, you can also well. redirect projectiles. If you're just looking for a place to find your sea legs, SpongeBob is a great place to start. Once you get comfortable with the game's mechanics and SpongeBob's own tools, see where your imagination leads you. All right, cool. Okay, cool. So yeah, that was a nice little overview there for Spongebob. Uh, he's a very uh, popular character, so it makes a lot of sense to do an overview for him. Although I do hope we get like overview trailers for like, the other characters as well. I really love when um, Tekken have been doing that for Tekken 8 and Street Fighter did it as well. So I hope we get some more for um, Nickelodeon as well. I understand why they're doing it for Spongebob, but I hope we get some more trailers for like the other individual characters as well. I'm not sure if we've got a release date for this uh, just yet. Um, I think it's supposed to be out later on this year. I could be wrong because I can never remember release dates for games. It's become a lucky recurring theme now for me. I'm like, yeah, where's this game out again? I can't remember. But yeah, I don't think it's been uh, announced just yet. But, you know, I'm actually I'm really looking forward to this game. I really enjoyed the first game and the first trailers we've got for this have been really good. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to this. Uh, do me a favor, guys. Let me in the comments what you think of this trailer and if you're excited to get this game. If you enjoyed the reaction, please like the video. It really helps channel grow. And for more reactions, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching.